children in this video we are going to solve one worksheet for the lesson tick 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 of class 4 maths let's get into the video question number 1 write the time in these one has been done for you dear children in this picture there are three clocks are shown with the different timings we have to read the timing shown in the clocks and how to read we have to see in different ways okay the first one is the small hand that is the hour hand is near to 8 and the minute hand points to 9 that means the time is 7:45 yes we can say 45 minutes past 7 in another way we can say 15 minutes to 8 let's go for the next picture next clock picture in this first we have to write the time here the hour hand is between 1 and 2 but it's very near to 1 isn't it it is not closer to 2 and also the minute hand points to 3 that means 15 minutes so we can say the time as 1 15 how to read this time we can say 15 minutes past 1 in another way we cannot say as because there are 45 minutes to reach 2 o'clock so better this is the right way by saying 15 minutes past 1 next go for the next clock in this the time is the hour hand shows points on 12 and minute hand points on 11 so the time is 11:55 we can say 55 minutes past 11 or 5 minutes to 12 correct question number 2 draw the hands to show the given time here two clock pictures are given timing also given what we have to do is we have to write the numbers and then we have to show the position of the hands in both the clocks for the first clock the numbers 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 11 then 12 already we have written now the time is 4:15 so the small hand should should be between 4 and 5 but the small hand should be near 4 that is after 4 it should be little distance only past and the minute hand should point 3 so the position of the hour hand and minute hand is like this in the next clock picture the time is 2:45 now as usual we have to write the numbers for the timings 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 now 2:45 the hour hand should be between 2 and 3 but it should be near 3 as because 45 is closer to 12 isn't it 45 means closer to the next hour closer to next hour so the hour hand should be near 3 and the minute hand should points to 9 so the now now the time is 2:45 Question three: Write AM or PM against the following 
8 children here set of 5 timings given we have to find whether it is am or pm we all know that midnight 12 to the next day 12 noon the timings will be denoted by anti meridian am similarly from 12 noon to midnight 12 will be denoted as post meridian that is pm now let's see the first question break time at school which is denoted at 11:45 which is before 12 noon that means 11:45 am question 2 play time after school 5 after school 5 means after it is 12 noon so that it is 5 pm 12:30 in the night 12:30 in the night means 12 over after that the new day starts that means 12 noon 12 midnight to 12 noon is am anti meridian and the fourth question 12:30 in the afternoon we all know that 12 noon to midnight 12 is denoted by pm post meridian so 12:30 in the afternoon is denoted by post meridian pm and the fifth question 10 15 in the morning we all know that midnight 12 to 12 noon afternoon is denoted by am so 10 15 am anti meridian question number 4 how many hours have passed between question number 1 10 am to 10 pm Let's see the clock first for this timing. Yes, in this clock, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. means it the small hand, that is the hour hand starts from 10 o'clock and completes one full round and reaches the place again at 10 o'clock. That means 12 hours. Yes, our hand completes one full round of that clock means that is 12 hours. Yes, next is question number 2, 10.30 a.m. to 12 noon. Let's see the clock, 10.30 a.m. to 12 noon. So the time is now 10.30, now small hand has to move to 12 noon here. Okay, from here to here it should move. So, how many hours in between? One and a half hours. Here one hour and here half an hour. So, one and half hours. Yes. Next is the third question. 12 midnight to 3 p.m. 12 midnight to 3 p.m. That means... This is 12 midnight. Let us consider. That means it should complete one full round to reach 12 noon. 12 midnight to 12 noon. After that, that our hand should point to 3, 3 after that. So, one complete circle, one complete round is 12 hours plus 1, 2, 3 hours. So, 12 plus 12 plus 3 18 hours. So, the time difference is 18 hours. 12 midnight to 12 noon plus 3 hours. 18 hours. Next equation 4.30 pm to 9.30 p.m. Now it is 4.30. 9.30 p.m. means this hour hand should move to 9 and between 10. Here. So 
932 sorry 432 530 532 630 632 730 732 830 832 930 both are in pm only so only this much so totally how many hours 432 530 532 630 632 730 732 830 832 930 so totally there are 5 hours difference Next question, writing 24 hour class time. Question 1, 1 a.m. Usually in 12 hours clock only we are using a.m. and p.m. and all. In 24 hours clock, we are using simply 1, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3, 3 o'clock like this. So here 1 a.m. means it's midnight 1 a.m. That means in 24 hour clock, it is simply 1 o'clock. Second question 9 pm that means from midnight to noon 12 hours complete 12 hours plus 9 hours 9 pm that is 9 pm. So it should be 9 plus 12 21 hours. The third question 10 pm in the same like previous question 12, 10 pm means 12 midnight to 12 noon 1 complete 12 hours. Plus 10 hours. So 10 plus 12, 22 hours in 24 hour clock time. So 22 hours. Now fourth question, 12 noon. 12 noon means we are not usually saying noon and all. So simply 12 o'clock. 12 noon. 12. 12 hours. Next, writing 12 hour class time. Question 1, 15 hour. 15 hour means 1 complete midnight 12 to noon 12. 1 complete 12 hours plus 3 hours. Then only it will be noted as 15 hours in 24 hour class. So that we have to subtract 12 hours. From 15 hours. So 15 minus 12 equal to 3. So the time is now 3. Okay. As it crosses 12 noon. We have to say PM. So the time is 3 PM. Next question. 7 hour. 7 hour means. <coughs> it is before 12 noon. So it is simply 7 AM. 15 hour we can consider as the same question like first question we can consider only 5 hour so 5 hour that is same it is not crossing 12 noon so it is same 5 am the fourth question 23 hour as it crosses 12 noon we have to subtract 12 from 23 so 23 minus 12 we equal to learn 11. Also, it crosses 12 noon. We have to use PM. So, the time is 11 PM. Next question. Write the following dates in numerals. Question 1. 1 June 2006. Or we can say first read 1st June 2006. For this kind of questions, we must keep remember the month's name in a year, also the number of that month, particular month in a year. Let us consider this. January is first month. Simply we can write Jan. February month is second month. Third month is March. Like this we all must keep remember. So first June, that means June is the 6th month. 6th month. So we can write the date in numeral as 1-6-2006 or 1 dash or hyphen 06 hyphen 2006. The next question 30 May. May is 5th month. 
Yes. So we can write the date as 30 hyphen 0 5 hyphen 2007 or 30 5 2007. Now 10 August. August is 8th month. So 10 dash 08 dash 2008 or 10 8 2008. Next question. June again 6th month. <coughs> So, 27-6-2006. Next question, 14 October. October is the 10th month. So, we can write 14-10-2004 or 14-10-2004. This is the way we can write the dates in numerals. 